Hello and welcome to the Monday, March 4th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I mention Confluence pretty regularly. Well, it turns out that some of the older vulnerabilities are still being exploited. Guy wrote up an attack against one of our honeypots that tried to exploit CVE 2022-26134, so about a two-year-old vulnerability. A classic OGNL interaction, in this case it's being used to inject a little bash script that will then download additional malware. Personally, I doubt that uh, these attacks are actually all that terribly successful, given that the vulnerability is reasonably old and it's heavily exploited. So any Confluence server that you may actually still find to be vulnerable probably already has been exploited multiple times. And in a blog post on attack ships on fire, we do have a problem that I have actually been struggling with in the past uh, with our Init Storm Center a website. We used to use uh, Google Analytics on our website, and uh, we also do use content security policies. I found it uh, back then uh, terribly difficult to come up with a decent content security policy while still using Google Analytics. Actually, more recently, I removed Google Analytics in part for that reason. And this blog post now outlines some of the pitfalls here where really you kind of have to uh, implement a very open con security policy in order to allow the Google Analytics script to work. Similar issues I also run into with if you're using like the standard uh, code to detect if uh, someone is connecting from Europe to sort of display them uh, the annoying uh, cookie banners. They also make it very difficult to then still use a relatively useful con and security policy. In general, when it comes to con security policies, I love them, I use them. But uh, I always tell people you have to understand they are hardly ever perfect. There is usually some way to bypass your policy. Really almost impossible in many cases to come up with a policy that's not bypassable sort of on a realistic side, in particular a legacy website. But they may still defend against some real attacks. So even if it's bypassable, doesn't mean it's useless or shouldn't be implemented. A blog post by Semperis outlines an interesting attack that they're calling Silver SAML. SAML is the authentication and access control standard used by a many single sign-on system. And one of the very popular implementation is Microsoft's Entra ID. Now, if there is a silver SAML, there's probably also a golden SAML, and golden SAML refers to an attack against an on-premise SAML implementation, where an attacker, post-compromise, steals the key material used to sign these SAML assertions and can then essentially impersonate arbitrary users. In response, as outlined by Sam Paris, some organizations have moved their SAML into the cloud using solutions like Entra ID from Microsoft. Now, of course, it's in part up to Microsoft to keep things secure, but uh, where Silver SAML comes in is that if you implement Entra ID, you may still use uh, signing certificates that you created and that are still accessible to an attacker that's able to compromise your infrastructure. So again, these are attacks that are post-compromise. There's sort of more these lateral movement attacks, but very much devastating a sense that once your SAML uh, provider is affected or is under the control of an attacker, the attacker essentially owns your infrastructure, which is 
why it's so important to configure these systems correctly. And well, the blog post also goes into quite some detail as to how you should configure it to avoid these silver SAML attacks as Microsoft also stated in response to an inquiry by Semperis that this is not a problem with Microsoft's or any particular SAML implementation. It's really more a configuration issue and how you then secure the key material. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And thanks also to all of our graduates who attended commencement this weekend. If you're interested, lots of pictures have been posted to social media. In particular, check out their respective SANS EDU accounts. Well, thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.